Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. Lately I've been doing a ton of live streaming. I'm live streaming almost every day and I absolutely love it. I know many of you are live streaming too and people are asking me what do I use to live stream? So I'm going to make some videos for my channel about this. If you look at the description below, you can see the links to the hardware that I'm using right now and also my main software application which is called Ecamm Live. It's a Mac application and I absolutely love it. It's easy to use, it looks great, sounds great. There's a two week trial, so I'll have the link below. Please check that out, check out the hardware I'm using too. As you can see, it looks and sounds pretty good. I'm continuing to improve it all the time, but I'm very happy where I'm at. Now, sometimes I'll stream to YouTube to do a pedal review or something, but when I do a concert, I wanna reach as many people as possible. And if you look at the screen, you can see my Ecamm software here and it all looks great and I can choose to stream to YouTube, Facebook, Periscope or Twitch. But like I said, with a concert, I wanna reach loads of people. So what do I do? Which platform do I use? Well, there is a way to go to multiple platforms and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this is Ecamm Live. As you probably know, if you've used the software, you choose your platform, so YouTube, and you click on Go Live and you stream to that platform. Okay, that's great. Now, there's also an option here that says restream.io. If you select that, it will ask you to log in. I've already logged in. And then it will show you this R symbol and go live. So this will actually allow me to stream via restream. So what is restream? Well, let me show you. If you look at this website here, this is restream.io. Very easy to use. Just sign up for an account. It's free to sign up. And look what I've done. I've added a channel. In my case, I've added my Facebook and my YouTube. You can add any of these channels, which is awesome. Again, more exposure, more potential um, viewers, which is what we all want, right? And then I've added Facebook and YouTube. Now, when you add Facebook, it'll say, do you want to grant uh, public access? Yes, you do, to get uh, the chats coming through. So do make sure you select public for that reason. And then my YouTube is here. So now if I go back to Restream and go live, it will say online and online, and I'll be streaming to both platforms. It's absolutely incredible. A couple of things I want to just say though, right now with YouTube, it will sometimes say you have to visit YouTube to enable the streaming, that's fine. Just click the link and it will take you to YouTube. Come back to the Restream website and it'll be working. Occasionally the YouTube stream doesn't connect for me, and I've found a way to fix it every time. Just click on the cog, remove the channel, and add it again start the stream again, and it works for me every time. It's really great. This is so powerful. It even shows you on Restream how many people are viewing each stream, so you can monitor that. And at the end of the stream, it will give you a breakdown and a full report as well. Remember, everything here so far is free. Now, there are paid plans, which I'll show you. The standard is just $16 a month. There's a professional, and there's also plans for companies. And if you subscribe yearly, you get a discount. So the standard plan allows you to stream to more places, do more custom things. I think once you get into using this multi-streaming platform, you're gonna to wanna to do more with it. So definitely check those out, I really recommend those. But there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't start trying the free version, because it's free and it's really great. So how about the chat? Well, let me just show you on Ecamm Live. We have the comments and reactions. Now, usually you see your comments there from, let's say, YouTube, and you can reply, and you see your super chats. A few things to note with Restream, but some really cool things. If you click on this chat box here, they give you the option to either use the browser or an app to monitor your chat. So I would use that to replace the comments and reactions. And the reason is that in comments and reactions, you're not able to type yourself. You can see the chats coming in from Facebook and YouTube, but you cannot reply and you do not see super chats at the moment either. That is coming soon though. So for that reason, I would download the app here and I would just put that here instead and use the app so you can see all the chats and reply to them. So that's great, they give you that for free as well. It looks like this on the screen, you can see it there. Some advanced features, if you do have a paid plan and you broadcast into a Facebook group or like your, your band page instead of your personal page, your guests on YouTube, the viewers on YouTube, can then see the Facebook comments as well. It doesn't work the other way. Facebook cannot see YouTube comments. That's simply because Facebook do not allow that. But that's a nice feature if you want to stream on YouTube and have those viewers see the Facebook. 
So you can really do lots with this. I would definitely say start with the free version, try it out. The most important thing for me, again, is that I can do one video here and send it out to two platforms or more at the same time. I would say be careful what you do. Make sure your content is relevant and you're sending it to the correct place. Another cool thing is if you have the pay plan and send to a Facebook group, you could specifically target a group. So if you're doing a video on, on Fender guitars, you could put a video just into Fender guitars group. Um, always ask for permission before you do that, but that's very powerful. You can stream to specific places and multiple locations at once. So I love this. I use this every week for my concerts. My channel is Aaron Short Music. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do and look out for more videos on streaming. But there's no reason, like I said, not to use Restream.io because it's free to try and it's great and it works really great for me and I highly recommend it. So check it out. If you use it already, please put in the comments below what you like about it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me some questions or comments below. I'll be happy to answer them. Until next time, be well, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.